Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manage Mode. I'm Brendan Plays, and of course, another big episode in store for you guys today. Now, we have set the rivalries. Last week, we did that. Uh, if you missed last week's or the any episode of GM Mode, make sure you go and check them out. This week, we need to pretty much continue building up. We've got the ratings that are kind of going in our favor. We need, just need to continue the momentum that we have gotten and keep building towards No Mercy. Now, we have a lot of competition in the next couple of weeks. Unforgiven and an ECW pay-per-view and then No Mercy. So three pay-per-views. It's a crazy time right now in GMO. Every single brand is getting a pay-per-view in the next few weeks. So it's very crazy. So we need to make sure that we are producing the best possible ratings that we can in the next couple of weeks. And so now we are just continuing to build um, Gregory Helms. I believe we may have gotten him to the 80 popularity mark. Now, another key thing I want to do is make sure that everybody's, all our top guys have the endurance that they need. Because what that kind of does is when they have a big match, it kind of, you know, reduces the fatigue they do, they get. You know, they recover from things a lot faster and allows you to really, um, just allows you just to have a much easier time and make sure that you avoid injuries because injuries are turned on. So the first match of this week's show, of course, is probably going to be the one we play. Undertaker vs. CM Punk World Heavyweight Championship match. That is huge. So we will hype that match up as well. So Undertaker and CM Punk are beginning their feud and uh, what a way to kick off the feud by having a big match on the card. So we need that one pretty much just to bump up the ratings, I think keep the momentum going, so what a good way to do it than by doing that. So, Batista will team up with Triple H, perhaps a little bit of an evolution reunion. They'll take on John Cena and Brendan in a tag team match. So, just another way to kind of keep the rivalries going, but in a different and fresher way. So, we will also continue this situation we have with the Cruiserweights. Gregory Helms will be in action for the first time. He's going to take on Nitro, Jeff Hardy, and Rey Mysterio. A fatal four-way match. Can all the Cruiserweights going at it. Who's going to come out on top? We'll have to wait and see. But uh, Well, not all the Cruiserweights, but all the ones that aren't really doing anything or are in a rivalry at the moment. So We will also will have... We will have another matchup. And uh, just kind of thinking... I think just got to remember who... Who I haven't used yet. It's going to be MVP and Elijah Burke. These two guys simply hate each other. They were US champions. Both of them were. Now they just have to kind of settle their differences and then hopefully they can move on to get themselves back in the United States Championship picture. And as well as that, we are going to have another big match. We're going to have, I don't know, we've got a tag team match, but I'm thinking probably won't have the titles on the line because I kind of want to play them. I, I don't know. We're, we're going to go against the title match. We were going to have to put the tag titles on the line. Decided against it, but it's going to be crime time taking on Sabu and the Sandman. Now, reason I decided against it, pretty much because we already have a big title match on the show. Now, I don't want to do too many title matches. I believe if I have this title match next week, that'll bump up the ratings when we really need it because we're not going to have a world title match every single week. When we have a world title match on a show, we don't really need to have other titles on the line. Keep the emphasis on the big main event. Make sure that show gets, that match gets the best possible outcome it can possibly get. So we're going to watch the Undertaker vs. CM Punk match. So if we had of put the tag titles on the line, yes, it would have got a good rating, but we could really use that rating next week when we don't have any other major titles on the line. Plus, if it's a, if it's a title match, I want to show that to you guys. I want to play that match for you. So next week on GM Mode, we will put the tag titles on the line because Sabu and Sandman, they are crying. Please, please give us a title match. They are crying about it, so we kind of have to do it. And everybody on the roster, to be honest, is crying because even if you give them a title match, it's still not bloody good enough for them. So you can't really win. But hey, Undertaker is the World Heavyweight Champion. He's going to take on CM Punk. And uh, this is going to be one hell of a match. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Can The Undertaker successfully defend his championship here against CM Punk? Or will CM Punk win the World Heavyweight Championship for the first time in his career on GM mode? So this is going to be very interesting. Undertaker has held the championship, I believe, three times on our GM mode series. So here is CM Punk. He is... The fastest rising star, I believe, on our show. He is really, really doing well. And um, he's been amongst the main event scene since the beginning of our GMO, but he has not clinched the big one yet. He's been amongst top, top of the line, headline feuds, but he has not been able to 
capture the World Heavyweight Championship yet. He's had feuds against Cena. I believe he's had a feud against Batista. But now, he needs to win the gold against The Undertaker. So can CM Punk do it? We're going to have to wait and find out. But as this match gets underway, here we go. World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. So, you know, as well as this match, uh, we really have developed a nice little undercard situation going into No Mercy. Obviously, No Mercy is the first pay-per-view in a while since the uh, Great American Bash, which has, uh, which means it's probably about two, nearly three months, actually, since we've had a full-on pay-per-view for SmackDown. So that kind of means that we really need to make No Mercy mean something and be very, very special and a big, big event. Because, really, SummerSlam, yes, technically, I believe we won SummerSlam, but it's not really working out you know it is giving a bit of a bit of a uh, bit of a bump in the ratings but we really haven't um taken off yet taken off we really do need to keep the momentum going we've got a bit of a bump we need to keep the ratings going strong and hopefully we can hit the break even mark very soon i mean no mercy if we have a good no mercy show we may be able to run down ecw and uh overtake them let's hope we can but at the moment it's it's a uh, a bit of a difficult situation here. Obviously, you know, we can bump up all our superstars to 100 popularity and let them go, and we'll be getting four star, five star matches. But really, I don't want to do that. I don't want to result to that. But um, at the moment, you know, it's very even. You know, the rosters, we do have quite clearly the best roster, but we're still not quite putting on the best matches in comparison to the other brands. So. We really do need to uh, just kind of keep building our guys up and keep making sure we are putting on good rivalries and good feuds so we can beat ECW and Raw. And, you know, I'm hoping by the end of uh, the series, by the time we hit uh, G uh, WrestleMania, we will be the number one GM. And uh, let's hope we can do that. We will, we will be the GM of the year. That's the goal. And that's the the end goal in GM mode series, and let's hope we can get it. And at the moment, CM Punk, his goal right now is to win the World Heavyweight Championship. And, uh, you know, CM Punk has been very strong, very solid, but The Undertaker, he's been dominant. And uh, The Undertaker, there's been a bit of a question mark, you know, whether or not he should be World Champion, whether or not he can be the World Heavyweight Champion for a long period of time, because he, he originally had the championship belt at the beginning of GM mode, and he lost it on the first episode of SmackDown. So the first episode of GMO, he lost the belt. So he held the title for five days. Then he regained the championship a little later. But, of course, um, he lost it. And, um, you know, he has been a good champion. I've enjoyed his run. But, you know, you kind of feel as though he's a little bit vulnerable. So he, uh, he, did, he was the champion. Then he had a big feud with John Cena. He wasn't able to get the championship back. So I'm... I do apologize, he's only a two-time champion. I, kept, I was saying three-time. John Cena held the championship for nine weeks, so he had the title for a long time, and The Undertaker and others, they all tried to get that championship off John Cena, but The Undertaker just could not beat John Cena. So I guess John Cena has that little, a little bit of an effect on The Undertaker where you know he might be The Undertaker's Achilles heel. But uh, Batista managed to knock off John Cena. He won the championship, and The Undertaker won the belt off... off. Batista. Now the Undertaker has held the championship for a good, you know, few weeks now. So he really is looking good. And um, to be honest, I think this could be his best run with the championship. If he, certainly, if he can beat CM Punk here and keep going, he may not have to defend the championship until No Mercy. So he will get a good, you know, maybe two month reign minimum, which is not too bad in GM mode. You know, anything over a couple of months is certainly very solid. I mean, look at Crime Time, held the championships since the beginning of GM mode. So they've held their tag team titles for what? You know, April to uh, September. So that's a good five months there. So they are killing it. So, you know, if you can hold, hold the title for that long, you really are very impressive. And The Undertaker's only held the championship for a few weeks now. But I tell you what, this could be his chance. Prove everybody wrong that he can hold the championship and be the number one man on SmackDown. As CM Punk, nice little uh, kick to the back of the Undertaker's legs, nice arm drag taking him down. Beautiful stuff there from CM Punk. Obviously, you got the big size disadvantage here, but that's not going to stop him from trying to take down the dead man. And the Undertaker, you know, he is probably the, no, the, the number one man on SmackDown, and uh, he has been probably since the beginning. You know, we have four top guys on SmackDown right now. Triple H probably the fifth now. 
after coming in. So once these rivalries are done, you kind of have to believe that, hey, maybe we should trade out one of these four guys. Trade one of them out and bring in someone else. That's something I have been definitely considering. And, um, you know, we have guys like Edge, Shawn Michaels, Bobby Lashley. Probably about it. I don't think there's anyone else in the high popularity status. I mean, Randy Orton's only about 70. So we do have plenty of guys we can bring in. But, um, you know, their popularities aren't that great. So we are obviously going to have to build them up. So the decision has to be made. As CM Punk has got Undertaker up. Oh, GTS! That could be it. We're going to have a new World Heavyweight Champion right here, right now. That is it. But CM Punk taking his time. What is he doing? He's got to get the cover. And Undertaker has gotten to his feet. Obviously, CM Punk believes he didn't have, do enough to beat the Undertaker. I don't know what the hell he is doing. Oh, that's a big mistake there from CM Punk. I thought he might have had the, the three count there. But going back to my point, I believe, you know, now we have these four guys. We've all rotated them around with each other. It might be time to trade one out, and it's going to be interesting to see who we do trade out. Maybe the losers of the feuds, they might battle out in the loser of that match. They might have to leave SmackDown. They might trade him out for somebody. So, CM Punk loses here, and let's say Batista loses against John Cena in their feud at No Mercy. The loser, CM Punk versus John Cena or Kurt, the loser of that match, is gone. He could do something like that and uh, bring somebody new in and uh, let them go. Because, you know, once you've kind of done a, a rivalry amongst all four of the top guys... It's uh, pretty difficult to kind of keep it new and fresh, so we may have to trade one of the guys out and uh, bring somebody else in. Maybe, maybe Edge, maybe Shawn Michaels. Probably my two front rowers, front runners. So we'll have to wait and see. Probably Shawn or Edge, definitely instead of like you know Lashley or Randy Orton, because they are a light heavyweight. You can use them elsewhere. I know you probably shouldn't be using them in the cruiserweight championship belt, but. Um, if they're not in the World Championship matchup, then why not? We could have a big headline, top-of-the-line feud for the Cruiserweight belt. So something like that, you certainly could be considered. So as Undertaker is pounding away right now on CM Punk, he is looking very good. But uh, I still get the feeling that CM Punk missed a trick there when he could have taken down the Undertaker and got the pinfall. And CM Punk going for that big kick, misses Undertaker going for a big right hand, he misses. Now he's... Back and forth now, and uh, CM Punk taking down the beautiful arm drag, reverse the kick into an arm drag, great work there from The Undertaker, taking down CM Punk, Undertaker looking the better of the two right now, CM Punk's taking a bit of damage from the dead man, and Undertaker still standing strong right now, and hang on, CM Punk, oh, some good kicks there to The Undertaker, but really having no effect, Undertaker still standing strong. And now CM Punk going for the same thing. Now he's got more in. That's what he wanted. He got more kicks in that time, taking down The Undertaker. And now CM Punk is in control. But Undertaker takes him down, reversing his kick attempt once again. So CM Punk in trouble if he can't hit and take down The Undertaker once again. So another GTS could be the end of The Undertaker's World Heavyweight Championship reign on perhaps a tombstone from the dead man will be the end of CM Punk. It's very close right now. This could go either way. Both men kind of take a bit of a breather. Undertaker, a beautiful arm drag once again, taking down CM Punk in the corner of the ring. As you can see, he is looking good. And Undertaker, Iris whipping CM Punk right into the corner, very hard, taking CM Punk down, laying him in the middle of the ring. Undertaker, dragging him into the middle. Thought perhaps he might go for a cover. CM Punk getting back out, reversing. Uh-oh! Thought he might perhaps might go for a choke slam. He's got him up. CM Punk trying to fight out of it. No! But CM Punk taken down with a choke slam. Undertaker gets him back up though. Goes to the big boot. CM Punk counters. Somehow staying alive. Here we go! Here we go! Two! No, he kicks out at two. You gotta be kidding me. I thought he had him there. And oh ho ho ho! What a punch! Might have just knocked the lights out of CM Punk. And now he's got that armbar submission. CM Punk is down. Undertaker's got that family locked in. CM Punk's in trouble. Uh-oh. He's got the head, the, the, the legs wrapped around the CM Punk. And Punk has tapped out. CM Punk taps. The Undertaker retains the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, 
in a water match. I thought CM Punk may have been able to persevere and prevail, but The Undertaker just too big, too strong, and too good for CM Punk tonight. But this is not the end. I know CM Punk will be getting a match at No Mercy for the championship. So he does have another opportunity, but still, he would have loved to come away with the gold right there. But Undertaker continues his impressive championship reign. And how long will he hold the title for? That is the big question. But so far, so good for the Undertaker in his reign. He's knocked off John Cena, and now he's knocked off CM Punk. But he's got more to contend with than CM Punk still, but so far... Looking good as Batista and Triple H Evolution they reunite to take down John Cena and the Beast, Brandon Gregory Holmes with the Fatal Four Way, Elijah Burke defeats MVP, and Sam and Sabu and Matt Hardy win the six man tag team match. So, a couple of big victories there. We do have an email, and apparently, The Undertaker has sprained his wrist and will be at 75% for the next three weeks. So, we're gonna have to probably take it easy with The Undertaker. So make sure he doesn't aggravate anything. So Raw with a four-star show. Only one match getting four-star. ECW three-and-a-half star. Uh, well, probably deserved that one. We got a three-and-a-half star. So, yeah. We're, ooh, I don't know. Three-and-a-half, maybe even pushing a four. The main event, four-and-a-half star rated. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, we'll have to wait and see how we do on the, on the uh, fan ratings. Obviously, we would have taken a bit of a hit because Raw did get four stars, so not the best situation now. Obviously, look at all these guys. Not content. They want championship matches. Hopefully, we can get it to them very soon. Yeah, look at these guys. Very upset. They all want title matches. I mean, Brendan just had a title match against Triple H for the US belt, and he's still not happy. So, at least CM Punk's happy. That's, that's good. You know, at least he's not crying by the, because of the fact that he lost and uh, wants a rematch and, you know, hasn't had a championship match for about... Five minutes. And uh, we just renewed Rey Mysterio's contract as well. We took a slight hit, so we dropped 20,000 viewers this week. Still dominating the Power 25, so all is well on SmackDown. A little bit of a hit in the ratings, but not too bad. Not going to be detrimental to the show. And uh, No Mercy's coming up. We're looking good. Guys, that's it for this episode of GM Mode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. See you next episode.